Do you, do you understand why AWS keeps winning uh, versus a Azure for cloud uh, versus Google Cloud? Yeah, Google, there's Google there's, Cloud is tiny, isn't it, relative to AWS? Google Cloud is third. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Microsoft is the second biggest, but Amazon is the biggest, right? Yeah. Um, and and Microsoft uh, deceptively sort of includes like Microsoft Office three six five and things like that, like some of these enterprise wide licenses. So in reality, the gulf is even larger. Microsoft is still second, though, right? Um, Amazon is way bigger. Why? Because using AWS is better and easier, and yeah, in many cases it was it's first. cheaper. And it's first. Yeah. It was first. Yeah, but there's a lot of things that are first. That well, it's easier. Them. It's harder to switch than it is yeah, to. Okay. But AWS <laughs> because is their core. There's big fees for switching too. AWS <laughs> generates over eighty percent of Amazon's profit. I think over ninety percent. Right? That's insane. The distribution centers are just like one day we'll decide to make money from this, but they haven't yet, right? Like they make tiny little profit from. Yeah, that. one day Amazon Prime will triple in price. <laughs> you would think they would improve AWS uh, interface because it's like horrible. It's like clunky. No but idea. everybody is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Yeah, you one would think. <laughs> I, I think actually Google's interface is sometimes nice, but it's also like they it's don't us. care about anyone besides their top customers. Yeah, exactly. And like their customer I mean, service sucks, and like they have a lot less. Like I mean, all these companies they opt optimize for the big customers. Yeah, they, it's, it's supposed to be for well, business. And, and Amazon has always optimized for the small customer too, though, right? Like obviously they optimize a lot for the big customer, but like when they started, they just would go to like random Bay Area things and give out credits. Right. And then they like, or just put in your credit card and use us. Right. Like it's went back in the early days. So they've always, the business has grown with them. Right. And burgeoned. So, like, why does Amazon, like, why is Snowflake all over Amazon? Because Snowflake in the beginning, when Amazon didn't care about them, was still using Amazon. Right. And then, of course, one day Snowflake and Amazon has a super huge partnership. But like, this is the case. Like, Amazon's user experience and quality is better. Also, a lot of the silicon they've engineered makes them have a lower cost structure in traditional cloud storage, CPU, networking, that kind of stuff uh, than, um, in databases, right? Like, the, you know, I think like four of Amazon's top five revenue products, uh, margin products, sorry, like gross profit products are all database related products like Redshift and like all these things, right? Like, um, so so Amazon has a very like good silicon to a user experience, like entire pipeline with AWS. I think Google, their, infra their silicon teams, yeah, they have awesome silicon internally, TPU, the YouTube chip, um, you know, some of these other chips that they've made. And... The problem is they're not serving external customers, they're serving internal customers, right?